Hello, my name is Hendrik. I am living in the Netherlands. And <coughs> this is a country that has been reclaimed from the water. It's like people showed up, there were swamps, they decided to pump out the water, but the water flowed back, so they built dams, which we call dikes, haha. -ha. And uh, so then they start pumping the water out uh, on to the other side of the dike so that it can flow back to the sea. And <coughs> gradually we had to do more pumping and uh, that's why we have so many windmills. And this is how our country came about. If we look at a very old map, the country looked differently from what we see today. Um, <clears throat> that means we have a lot of experience with dealing with water and keeping it out and pumping it out, uh, for which we became famous as Dutch people. Um, and um, we constantly fight two risks. That is, on the one side, the water from the sea, especially the North Sea. And from the other side, as we are at Delta, we have water flowing through three rivers, the Schelde, which is a smaller one. We have the Meuse, which we call Maas, um, all the way from France. And then we have the Rhine, the Rhine River, which flows water from the snow slopes of the Alps all the way to the North Sea. Um, <clears throat> when that water starts melting, that the snow starts melting, uh, a lot of water flow is coming our way and uh, we have to allow for the water to get out of the river and flow further and so there's beside the, the river the actual river we have some some area for overflow and then we have the dikes uh, behind that you find the houses and in the past some idiots started building in the the flat area just next to the the Meuse and so they had floods in those uh, districts too. Stupidity. Um, now, the country has been struck by a major disaster in 1953 when uh, we had a, a moon that was really low and so there was already a, a, an issue with the ebb and flood um, and uh, there was also a storm a nor'wester storm which pushed a lot of water from the sea into the rivers and dikes broke because they were they, they were already bombed by the british because the bunkers were on top of the dike uh, and uh, they decided not to repair that but to uh, fight in indonesia that's what i've been told okay so we had a major disaster in 1953 okay now we have, I, I, I know three friends who have visions, dreams about water and flood. I take that very seriously, especially for one. And, and um, then we, I spoke or I contacted two astrologers who also consider it. Um, uh, there's, there's a significant chance of such a water disaster. In addition, there were reports of a uh, skipper who noticed that the uh, floodgates were pinched, restricted, so that the water would not flow to the sea as quickly as normally. And it's also been reported that uh, the government uh, has a, a winter level for the groundwater and it does not seem to adhere to its own standard which basically means that our country is already saturated with water when the melting water comes down the Rhine and the Meuse uh, in uh, the springtime. That is risky. Because in our country, when we have water, just pump it out over the dike with the windmills and just throw it back to sea, get rid of it. But they're not doing that right now. That's the report. And I can see for myself, because I looked at my water meter, which is in a pit in front of my apartment, and that water level is higher than I've ever seen since 1997. So that's over 25 years. 
there is something wrong. And in addition to that, uh, there's been an interview uh, that has yet to be published by Blue Tiger Studios in which a, an engineer is explaining about his specialty, ground mechanics, and that's basically understanding if a dike is stable or if it will crumble because there's too much water in it or anything else. Uh, this expert warns, especially for the weekend of 25-26 February um, in 2024, because in that weekend the situation will be uh, comparable to the dreaded night of 1953 when Zeeland, Zeeland was flooded. Um, if a northwestern storm should uh, take place on that weekend, then my dear people in the outside the Netherlands, keep your eyes peeled for the Netherlands because then it is going to be um, risky. That is it for the moment. He also explained, by the way, that uh, the tendency of the government has always been that if there's more risk, then we need higher dikes. We need to add to the dikes. That is to take down the risk. But, he explains, there's a downside to it because all the houses will be within this this rim of dikes and basically you've constructed yourself a deeper bathtub so if water starts flowing over the dikes or through the dikes then the water level will reach much higher levels than we've experienced in the past and I believe he was talking about six meters and again this is second-hand information but um, yeah we will we will see and, and in addition to all the other reporting that goes on so keep your eyes open for the Netherlands not only on the weekend of 25 26 February because it could easily happen later who knows but this engineer dreads that specific weekend so that's what it is and it may not happen at all uh, that would be nice but that's how it goes at the moment there is reason for concern that's what it is oh another thing is throughout Europe some 30,000 dams at least more than 30,000 dams little ones uh, larger ones have been removed uh, in an attempt to give nature back its water and let the, let the trout and the salmon swim back like they once used to. Uh, this of course um, reduces the uh, it, it temperation, it, it, it doesn't exactly temper the water from flowing towards the Netherlands in springtime. So that's another new development and, and uh, you sometimes wonder if they have some sort of agenda to get rid of us. Because you, you probably heard about the farmers and, uh, and now this. Um, okay, as I always finish or often I do, is don't believe a word of what I said and check for yourself personal responsibility. That's part of freedom. Thanks for watching.